think this home has potential. You have a lot of land. You got the Christmas tree still here. This was the guy's military uniforms. Hmm, this could fit me. What the heck? American security products. This actually might be a gun safe. There's probably still some stuff in here. There's a NASCAR racetrack tire over here. Poor girl. This is a really nice bedroom for an RV. How come this place is abandoned like this? Or why is it? It's been sold. Nestled amid palm trees lived a man whose life was etched with valor. This abandoned home belonged to Henry, an Air Force veteran who had bravely fought in the turmoil of the Vietnam War. After the war, Henry returned to Florida with his beloved wife, Sarah, by his side. They settled into this quaint little house, a peaceful sanctuary where they began their journey together embracing the joys of family life. As time passed, their family grew, and two beautiful children, James and Emily, filled the home with life. The house witnessed their joys, shared their tears, and provided a sheltering haven and unforgettable memories. As the children grew, ventured off to college, and lived their own lives, Henry and Sarah reveled in the memories they had created together and in their last years lived in retirement. The golden years gently approached, and the house that had seen generations of love and happiness became a symbol of the bond they shared. And as the weight of age grew heavier, Henry and Sarah eventually passed away. The house, now entrusted to their eldest son James, stood as a reminder of their parents' legacy. He moved into the home again with his wife and child, yet Unfortunately, life brought unforeseen challenges and the burdens of financial trouble casted a shadow over his life and they had to move out, leaving behind the cherished home. Years went by and the house that once echoed with laughter and love fell into disrepair, neglected and forgotten. Its walls weathered and its roof sagged under the weight of time and the vibrant life that once thrived within the home was now a distant echo. What's good, Ron fam? So we just made it to the abandoned mansion. Look at the driveway. You can tell no one's been through here in ages. We got Trevor up front. Damn. So this is the driveway, huh? Is that their barn too? Yeah, they definitely mowed this year. Relatively recent. It looks like a car was driving through here too. But yeah, that's how the front looks. You would be coming home to this. I think this home has potential. You have a lot of land. It's a shame that the front yard looks like this. And you even have a Spanish moss tree right next to you. That's kind of dangerous. You can see some of the branches had collapsed on the roof. I think the trees are way too close to the house. But yeah, look at those overgrown vines as well. I mean, for what we know, this place has not been abandoned for such a long time. So it's crazy to see it at this state. This is like a pretty nice home at one point. You're very secluded. There's no neighbors around us at all. You got a lot of privacy. And this used to be a driveway too, leading up to the garage. 
I'm really excited to be giving you guys this tour today. Before we head inside, I want y'all to smash the like button. Let's get to it. Right here's like their backyard. You can tell it's been through a lot. So much has been overgrown. Well, it's starting to get sunnier and sunnier. Earlier it was raining hard. Oh, I bet you he did have a dog. He had a really big backyard. Probably as recently as two or three years ago, this was mowed down. Yeah, I can imagine how this backyard used to look like. All nicely trimmed and mowed. I feel like we'll be able to find a snake over here or an alligator. Oh wow, these are all thorns. Thorn bushes. Just want to see what we can find over here. What are these sheds for? Oh, he probably had his own chickens. Yeah, it does look like a chicken coop. Basin. Now this tree, if you look at it, almost looks like it's about to fall. It could be the clouds just giving that illusion. It looks dead. I wouldn't be surprised if it falls very soon. There's another dead tree. It looks like we got some cherries. So we just made it into the living room, guys. Wow, it looks like this place was last used for Christmas. That's how the entrance door looks. He even got some like Christmas package wrapping paper blocking the window. It's a little bit strange. And there's still some furniture as you can see. Look at that. We got the Christmas tree still here with all its decorations hanging. It's so strange that a lot of the homes I've explored in the past, they always get abandoned around the same time of year during the winter. And here's the fireplace. We got a mug right here that told us what high school they went to. Christmas teddy bear. Before we explore further, I say we just go down here because that's a dead end. And then we can finish up the rooms over here on the right side. Trevor's right there already. Looks like an animal was chewing on something. Looks like insulation. Over here, it kind of looks like a smaller living room. I guess this was the formal one. It was a little bit more private over here. Some random mattresses. Either they were packaging stuff or taking stuff out. But this is probably where they kept the kids most of the time. If they had like a family gathering. You have all the toys just laying right here. That's one creepy looking doll. <laughs> they put like Christmas bells on this lantern. Yeah, these boxes are filled with Christmas decorations. They were probably setting the place up. What's that, bro? Oh yeah, I can see his military uniform that he's wearing. That's the man. From here you can get to the kitchen. Very accessible, but we'll come back here in a bit. There's still more rooms going down further. So here's the shared bathroom with a standing shower and a tub. Huh, they didn't even finish painting the walls. But this is a nice bedroom. Good size for a kid. Oh wow. So this bed was actually a massage bed. Here's the closet. Yeah, this is a little bit bigger. Happy Thanksgiving. It's so crazy to me that this place was abandoned during a time where, you know, you kind of get together and you kind of celebrate with family. 
And sadly for this family, they just had to leave their home. Yeah, pretty decent sized closet. Alright, let's go check out this kitchen. Well, it's definitely giving me like 1950s vibes, but still pretty modern until they renovated the place over the years and got more modern equipment. All that hard work for nothing though. Yeah, this is pretty gross. I think those are maggots all dead on the floor over there. They must have like decomposed some sort of animal. Oh gosh, not the fridge. Oh, I can tell this fridge is gonna be really bad just by the way it looks. I'm about to open this, but once I open it, all of you guys have to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification button bell. Oh gosh. Mm. Oh, that smells. Now over here on the other side was a similar layout, but it's a lot bigger. So they use this as a bedroom. Oh, wow, there's still boots. They look tactical. Could be what he wore in the military. Curtains look good as new. Wow, it's a big walk-in closet. And I can imagine how many clothes you can fit in here. Jeez. This kind of shows that this family had a lot of money. Jeez, this could be the master bedroom. As you're walking through, you reach the bathroom. Damn, this is really nice and beautiful. It's got everything you want in the bathroom. A standing shower, We've got the double sinks going, and here's the bathtub. It's so nice. You got the windows that aren't see-through. So, you know, you have your privacy in here because there is some sort of wasp infestation. There's so many dead wasps all over this bathtub. Here, look at this bug. That's a really big spider. That looks like an alien. I'm not gonna even say that's a spider. That's an alien right there. Steve, come here, man. What's up, I bro? A, I got a box filled with this stuff. What's that? It's a yearbook, man. Is her what? It's his yearbook. Oh, wow. He graduated in 1964. Dude. Yeah. That's a neat find. That is, and it's got all of his pictures here. Wow. Yeah, it's him with his love. Dude, it's black and white, but like the way he dresses is sort of modern. <laughs> he could fit in nowadays. That's like, people are wearing like baggy pants nowadays like that. Yeah, I mean, he would fit in nowadays. Yeah, he would. I'm trying to find out a date of this, like... Wow, 1964, school days, school, uh, those wild sixth grade parties. This is look sixth grade? Yeah. And look at the cars, dude. A classic. In the back of the book, Damn. there's actually like, he's got a whole bunch of people that wrote in it too. Oh yeah, of course. All the students writing in each other's yearbooks. Sick. Wow. Yeah. And back in the day, they would always write in cursive. They stopped teaching that now. Yeah, it's a lost art. It is. Yeah, it's... Even I have trouble reading cursive now. <laughs> they, they taught me, but I, I forgot. They had right. Baseball. Oh, he was on the football team. Nice. Yeah. He's a football player. Oh. The honor players? Was he in the honor players? He list? was honorable all states. So he was an athlete, too. Really? This yeah. Is, his name is over there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dang, this guy was athletic. Yeah, he was good. And yeah. Wow, what a cool find, guys. We're finding a lot of interesting things now. This over here by the window. This was the guy's military uniforms. Let's take a closer look at these uniforms. Wow, the material that they use feels really high quality. You can tell it's made to stand the test of time. Except for, I guess, rats chewing the hell out of it. Hmm, this could fit me. How do I look? <laughs> That's so neat. By the look of the badge, he was in the Air Force. Here's a luggage tag. I'll keep it up there so that it doesn't get further damaged. And here's the other one. Oh my god, there's a lizard on it! <laughs> Bro, there's a lizard just chilling on this thing. Whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> what the heck? Yo, hop on me, bro. Get on me. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that guy's really friendly. He's on your back. 
They're fun. I wish that. Yeah. Is what, still what on me? Yeah, he's still on you. Bro, I want to get on me. Hey, come on. Hey, come here. Come on, lizard. Hey, come on. Come on. Hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on. Oh, man. Well, now it's all shaking up. Yeah, all shook and yeah, has like... rat poop on it. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Got an album. Oh, platoon graduation pictures. These are photos when he was in the army. Yeah, that was his platoon. Graduate 19 May 1966. First recruit battalion, platoon 163. That's awesome. And these are just regular photos, I guess. Definitely gotta wash my hands after this. Looks like they could have went to Thailand. Uh, it's all their memories here at home. Going to the beach, riding horses, seeing alligators. And I think this could have been their backyard. So we just found this license plate and the date of it is 0822. It's hard to believe that this place wasn't abandoned for a long time. That's how the fireplace looks like. It's really, really nice. Yeah, I kind of figured it's so weird how everything just scattered like this. Almost looks like they were getting ready to move things around and out of here. Looks like they were a big fan of Scooby-Doo. Got some pictures tucked away on this corner too. And a game of darts. I wonder if we can still play with this. Nah, that looks so dull now. Yeah, these are mostly photos of his kids. I think this was his son. There's the daughter. Yeah, who knows what they're doing now. Looks like they were big fans of Scooby-Doo. This is probably for his kids. So we got some steps leading upstairs. I think this is the main stairway. Well, it's the only stairway to the second floor. And then you got a back entrance or exit to the garage. Oh, this is it? It only leads upstairs to a bedroom. I mean, it's really big. I would probably kind of use this as an office. I was gonna say, maybe this is possibly a master bedroom, but then you look at the bathroom and it's not as luxurious looking as the one downstairs. Oh, whoa. What the heck? American security products. This actually might be a gun safe. Oh, it's not budging. Oh my gosh. There's probably still some stuff in here. There's a model and serial number right there. On top of that, you have some Remington Action Cleaner. This is the clear this is the clean firearms. Oh. That's a pretty neat painting. Looks like a French soldier. Oh. Got more classroom photos. Here's your classroom photograph. The total of this was a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> Dang, this is his elementary school photo. It's so crazy to look how kids dressed back in the day. They were definitely more like posh and civil. It's crazy how times change. There's a scrapbook, pretty empty. We still got clothes hanging in here. This is probably his like football jersey that he wore in high school. This is definitely like a little workshop that he had. You know, he probably had some tools right up there. He would like maybe make stuff right here on the bench. This newspaper is from 1986. We got some VHS tapes right there. It's probably homemade. And right over here. Oh, what the heck? It's a sauna. The man had a built-in sauna right up here. Whoa, look at all the trophies. So Trevor's been here, but I don't think he saw this room. Dude, I didn't see that. Dude, I saw he... the sauna room, but I just glanced in here. Yeah, all his trophies are right there. Looks like it was some of his daughter too. Varsity cheerleader. Um, oh, he played golf. All right, so Trevor and I were actually gonna get these trophies out of here and kind of set them up for a nice photo on the desk. Oops. I mean, originally this is probably where they were. 
Put that down here. I wonder if he died of lung cancer. Possibly. He died pretty old. He was 73. Yeah, this one doesn't fit down there either. Oh, this is looking nice. Dude. <laughs> So if you ever see this setup in another person's video, you just know that we did it first, okay? Credits. So as we were kind of organizing the trophies with this desk, we ended up finding a few more things, like other, we ended up finding more albums and pictures. This looks like, oh, oh no. This looks like a high school diploma. It was definitely his. Here's another one. Interesting that he had two of them. Well, I think one of them was a copy. And this is probably the original. Here's that album. Yeah, they're very old photos. Oh yeah, here's a closer look to the trophies. I can kind of tell that, you know, some of these trophies were for the daughter. If anything, most of this was from the daughter. I guess she got her athletic ability from the, her dad. A lot of this is for golf. She was the first flight winner. Third annual ladies golf classic in 1968. Won the nine hole championship tournament in 1966. This is a picture of him. He was a, a Chevy salesman and he was definitely one of the best salesmen for them. I hope you guys enjoyed this a lot. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button bell. Also check out my buddy Trevor over here. He also has a YouTube channel and it's thanks to him that we got to explore this place. So props to you, Trevor. That place was awesome, dude. Probably one of the most unique homes I've ever explored down here in the South. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you enjoyed most about it. For me, I think it was definitely the story and what we found inside there, like the Trilda Rememorabilia and the gun safe. Honestly, I wish we were able to open it, but you know, we tried our best to just show it off. There's definitely guns still inside there since it hasn't been opened. Next day, my friend and I also discovered another unique abandoned home. In the summer of 1960, NASCAR driver Tom was ready to enjoy his retirement after a long and successful career on the racetrack. He found a beautiful mansion right by the lake and decided to make it his home. It had three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Although small, it was a perfect size for him and his wife and two kids. Tom was a car enthusiast and collected several vehicles but his favorite cars were always Cadillacs. He would often be found in his garage working on his cars or admiring his collection. He also loved to travel and explore new places and would often use his beloved RV to venture out into the open road. His wife was a fantastic chef and loved to host family gatherings. Years went by and his sons grew up and moved out of the home right after finishing college. Tom and his wife were left to enjoy their beautiful home and each other's company. Sadly, in 2012, Tom's wife passed away. With no one to take care of him, Tom eventually had to move into a nursing home due to his severe diabetes. A few years later, a bad hurricane hit the area and Tom's beloved mansion by the lake was severely damaged. It was a devastating sight and Tom knew he could no longer live there. He decided to sell the home and move on with his life. The house was eventually sold to a development company for $1.2 million. As of 2023, the development company has plans to demolish the mansion and build an office on the property. What's going on today, Ronan fam, and welcome back to another exploration today. And today I'm taking you guys with my friends inside this abandoned mansion. And the architecture in this home is known to be cracker style. It's something that you only see down here in the south. Now this place is absolutely amazing. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it a lot. Not only do we have this mansion to explore, but we also have some cars to see, some really rare vintage cars. So to all my car lovers out there, smash the like button for this video. I'm going here with my friends Adventuring Trevor, and we also got Blood Recruitioner. I've been here in Florida hitting up a lot of places, and they've been showing me around. And this spot, when they first showed me a photo of it, I was like, we gotta go there. We gotta document it. And now here I am. It's in pretty rough shape, kind of crazy. I actually got to talk to the owner as I was scoping the place out. And he's just letting us explore this place. He even told us to just take whatever we want, which is incredible. Pretty nice. He gave us a little bit of information. So he lived here from the 1960s all the way up to 2013 when he ended up moving to a retirement home. 
He had a lot of health problems. Mainly he was diabetic. And so he's staying there till now. And this home has just been completely left to mother nature itself and being very destroyed as you can see. There's no hope for it. So what he said was that he wants to sell off the entire land and demolish this home that he once lived in. But I can see why. I don't think this place is repairable at all sadly so but i'm really excited I, and i hope you guys are too before this adventure begins i want y'all to smash the like button and let's get it it's a beautiful home but the front has taken its toll you got some weird mushrooms growing over here Could you just imagine coming outside to your deck, chilling on one of those couches, playing some music from this record player. I wanted to just start off right here. This is one of the vehicles that's the furthest away from the home. But not only that, this is probably my favorite car left abandoned here. It's a beautiful Cadillac. Missing tire, it's sunk into the ground. You can tell that this car has been here for such a long time. Well, even the mirrors say Cadillac on it. But I love how like decayed it looks. You got vines growing inside now. Yeah, you know, you definitely can tell they had they put a lot of quality and craftsmanship to this car. The paint is still looking pretty good. Here's how the inside looks like. Steering wheel. Dashboard has been scrapped apart though. You can still see the engine inside. Fully intact, hasn't been stolen. Open space here. You can imagine throwing like a barbecue or a party with friends and family. You've had no problem. You can even use this area to kind of like park all your cars and vehicles if you wanted. You just have the lake right over there. It would look a lot better if these trees were cut and the grass was mowed. You can just imagine the potential this home has. You got Spanish oak trees surrounding the mansion. Got a lot of good shade. Feels nice and cool right now. I'm not sure what this could have been. Could have been like a swing set at one point for the kids. Check that out. You can it goes further down there and over here. Looks like at one point they were making some sort of garage down there. I feel like people have definitely been driving over here. So you can see some tire tracks. They probably came here when it was raining. Nope. Yeah, check out the tires here. Got a lot of rims and old tires, yeah. Looks like it could have been a nice garage at one point. You're probably able to fit at least six cars in here. And then you can also just keep going down. No wonder the guy lived here and owned this property. You can fit so many cars and vehicles. It makes sense that he would live here. You know, he was a car enthusiast and he was passionate about collecting a lot of vehicles. He has the land to do it. Is that a, is that a potato? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably grows in the ground. Let me know down in the comments what do you guys think this is. Let's go and check out this side now. You can see a camper van off in the distance. If I were to live here, I'll probably make a guest house on this corner. Looks like they had a swing set right here. So look who just made it. We got Chris, Blood Recruitioner. 
you guys have seen in the previous videos. Yeah, we're all joined up as a trio. And Trevor and Chris, they've been here before. We're getting closer and closer to the mansion. But we still have a few more things to see out here. Check out all these propane tanks. We probably had a grill somewhere. But Chris mentioned there's like a tiki bar over yeah. that way. Yeah. You can't even recognize there's a tiki bar over there. It just looks like completely overgrown. Wait, we just want to go check the tiki bar. It looks like they took it down. It's actually that scrap of metal right there that used to be the tiki bar. Yeah, I'm going to check it. You know, you just know this guy had his life set. He had a beautiful home, a lot of cars. And, you know, once you have the RV, this is basically a great way to just travel America. That's definitely where I want to get to in life. It's just, you know, have my own home, have my cars, and lastly, have an RV to do road trips with. And I'll be pretty happy. What a beauty. I wonder if this can be restored, but there's a lot of damage yeah. that you can see. Some tires already sucking to the ground. They're all flat. Smell piss coming from within inside the RV. I'll risk it for you guys to show it off. Put my bag in here. It's kind of tight over there. Whew! It does smell. Wow, look at the, the driver's seat. I didn't expect it to be this damaged inside. Like everything just fell apart and there's just so much stuff scattered all around. Got things still inside the cabinets and drawers. Even got like a surround sound system in here. Must have been so nice listening to the music in this RV. This looks like a standing shower. It's kind of tiny, but it also had space for like a tub. There's the toilet, I guess, right in there. And here is the bedroom. This is a really nice bedroom for an RV. You got so much space and you're able to fit a double bed in here. So oh, sick in there, bro. It's worth the smell of piss. Okay. I say go in. I'm gonna go all the way in. Yeah, dude. Do before, so. Damn, I just realized there's a tree that's collapsed right next to it. I was fascinating to see what's under a tree. There's like termites and ants living in it. That was so cool checking out the RV. It's been a dream of mine to own one. So I've always looked online, seen pictures on Instagram of other people's RVs or travel vans and getting inspiration from them. It's another car, I got a Hyundai. It was probably his daily driver. It's a little bit smashed up. The side looks pretty intact still. Dashboard still seems fine. Surprised nothing has gone scrapped, like the wires. And the engine is still here. So you just know that not a lot of people know about this place at all. Nothing's been stolen. Check this out guys. There's a NASCAR racetrack tire over here. I've actually never seen one before in my life. Didn't expect them to be this huge. Looks like. Yeah, you're right. It's probably been worn out. Well, what right. they do is... I think it's time we head in. 
Look how trashed it is. Seems like a lot of stuff has been flying out of the home. You can see clothes, shoes, random crap all around. It's a huge mess. You can tell that it used to be very beautiful at one point in time. It's got two floors it seems. Looks like we got some branches that's fallen onto the roof. There's a considerable amount of damage. I like the color of the home though. It's like mint green. All right, I'm really excited to give you guys a tour inside. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour outside of it though. Lots of cool vehicles that we saw. It's been amazing, but it's time we head in. Now before I head in, I want y'all to make sure to smash that like button. Oh. Is it gonna be no, sold? It's gonna come down. It's gonna come down yeah. Oh, you're demolishing it then. Yeah, yeah it does look pretty bad. Yeah, it's in rough shape. Oh, it's the camera. Wow. Which one you got? Uh, it's a Canon. Oh, the Canon. Which one? T7i Rebel. Oh, the, the, the seven. Which yeah. you got? This is the Sony. You got the Sony? Yeah, I'm a Sony guy. I want to be a Sony guy. It's just that one's well, a little expensive. Yeah. Is it kind of better? So, what do you know about this area? Like, how come this place is abandoned like this? Or why is it? It's been sold. It's been sold. All right, yeah, we're we're just taking photos though. Hope it's okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. I'm so glad he was chill though. So glad he was chill. Me too. When he walked up to me, he was asking like, "What are you doing here?" I thought he was being sarcastic, you know. I thought like he wasn't being so serious, but then he just started talking. He just turned out to be a nice guy. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. He's told us that we can actually take stuff. Yeah, he said that we just take the car, take everything here. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell Chris that. The guy was really, really nice. Honestly, a lot of people should be more like that if they come across someone exploring an abandoned place. You know, just find out if the people are being respectful or not. If they're being respectful, be nice to them. All we are doing is just documenting the place and taking photos. But if we were stealing or vandalizing the place, definitely, you know the owner or whoever sees that is angry I understand completely but he was really nice um, said we can continue exploring the place and I don't know if I caught it on camera but he said that they're tearing this place down and they're getting rid of everything so he's just like yeah take whatever take whatever you want take the car take the house <laughs> all crazy it's all gonna go. yeah it's all gonna go apparently well this place will probably be gone within this year He's just urging people. Oh, is that the wife? That's the and next to the shed. Oh yeah, here. that's the exact photo oh, they wow. took it. Yeah. That's and it must nice have been the wife find. that lived here. Really hoarded up in here. The floor is just covered with junk. Look at that, all the cabinets have plates and cups still inside. TV. They're probably playing some videos while they ate. Can tell this place is old. They got VHS tapes. South Park Volume 5, nice. And over here is still filled with ingredients and sauces and condiments. My boy knew the good stuff. We got sriracha. And he's got the Bangkok peanut sauce. Yeah, this guy knew what he was eating. What's over here? It's like a little indoor deck, I guess. Yeah, there's a... Jeez, I can't believe how trash it is everywhere we go. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of things, man. Yep. I guess we'll uh, head over here. And this looks like the living room. Maybe the guy was a hoarder. This looks pretty hoarded. So, what's this? Hmm. You can see a lot of like kid toys probably belong to his kids. Wow, look at this. This is unopened. 
I've never seen a Budweiser bottle like this, but I'm not a drinker, so maybe that's not so rare. We got some Charlotte Motor Speedway tickets. You probably went to that show. It says the date on it. 1 p.m. October 5, 1996. Wow. Damn. Look at the wall. What man. So much damage. But I do love the layout of this home. At a brick fireplace. And right on top over there. We got some Charlotte Motor Speedway tickets. You probably went to that show. It says the date on it. 1 p.m. October 5, 1996. This was the front entrance. We're right next to a busy street, so I don't want to go out there just yet in case like, you know, we'll get, we'll run into some Karens asking why we're inside this abandoned home. Even though we're doing really nothing wrong, except taking photos and videos. <coughs> wow. Here's the other Camaro. I didn't even know that was there. We'll have to check that out after we're done exploring in here. Yeah, let's head right up. It's still hoarded even when we go upstairs. I mean, it's a little bit more clear than downstairs. And we got three bedrooms up here. Oof. This is bad. It's probably a kid's room just by looking at the wallpaper. Well, everyone, I'm gonna go handheld here because it's such a tight squeeze to get around carrying a gimbal. But let's check out some of these bedrooms. Yeah, I showed you guys this earlier when I had my gimbal. I don't even know if I should walk inside. You never know what the floor is like. But you never know what the floor looks like underneath this pile of junk. I'll try to get a little bit further though. Yeah, there's nothing so there's nothing crazy that I'm seeing. Over here was another bedroom. This one's really nice. It's small though. But this was probably where the parents would sleep in. Because they had like a closet right there. And it had its own bathroom, so that makes me believe this was some sort of master bedroom. But really small. We got some old VHS tapes here. Beyond Nashville. Sweethearts of the Rodeo. Damn, these are probably some tapes the guy filmed of him and his family. Got the last room. Oh, what the heck? I remember these growing up. I think I even used to have one. It's like those robo dogs. You know, this room has a lot of photos. I can see some pill bottles. I'm gonna have to blur those out. Looks like he was taking oxycodone. Photos of the racetracks that he used to go to. Looks like they're having a party. I feel like this right here is probably one of the rocket launches that NASA did. Everyone's like looking up in the air. And they had two dogs, German Shepherd and a Beagle. 
It looks like the woman that we saw from downstairs. Probably the mom. There's the son. So many photos of the life they had. This room was some sort of office. And this was probably the truck that used to be here. The heck? This is relatively new. These like ear pods. Interesting. Oh, what the heck? I see we just head downstairs and go see that other Cadillac right next to the house. Probably gonna come out this way. Yeah, it's a little violent. You get those hey, actually, it looks like there was a door right here at one point. There was, yeah. And maybe there were steps built here to get to like this area. Somebody probably tore them down. Yep. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice. Ew! Yo, that cobweb was thick! Poor girl. Looks like someone took some parts of the engine. I can't believe that you were able to drive the car over here. It's crazy how fast things go. On. I know, wow. look at that. It's completely blocked now by these giant leaves. Oof, check out the interior. Got some leather seats. Dashboard is still intact. It was convertible too. That's really nice. Would have been, would have been getting all the ladies with this back in the day. How the back looks. It's not my first time I find that banning Cadillac. So far this is like the third abandoned Cadillac I've found and I always love seeing these vehicles. Alright Rodent fam, thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button bell. Also check out the gang, Blood Recruitioner and, and Adventuring with Trevor right here. The links will be down below in the description. I really enjoyed this home a lot, what an adventure it was today. And you know, this is my last day in Florida with the boys. Until next time guys, it's been a fun Florida explore trip. But hey, guys, make sure to like and smash the make sure to smash the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want me to come back, then we'll do a part two of Florida. Anyway, I really did enjoy the home a lot. I think what made it unique was definitely the cars. I love the vehicles and the RV left behind. So many crazy things just still here. But it was also nuts that we ran into the owner. Thank God he was a friendly guy. I mean, we're just taking photos and trying to document this place before it goes away. And like he said, he told us, and like he said, his plans is to basically just demolish this place. It's been sold already. He's trying to get rid of everything here for a new development of like office complexes so that's it that's a wrap until next time guys don't forget to live life for freedom wander and i'll see you all next time peace and thanks for watching